Through all that crap, I noticed you've always been sticking by me. You know, I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now. It all starts with two waves of humanity, I suppose. <sighs> I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if... Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of cap. Enough. My God, I'm so sorry. Thanks. Enough. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. Enough. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The Shut things they up. made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Blah, Stealing blah, a few blah. caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all. That's easy for you to say. You weren't there. You have no idea what I went through. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, you can imagine the look on me parents' face. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? <laughs> And blah, you think blah, I inject blah. myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your... I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. It's okay. Look at me. Now you have me blushing. Well, that settles it, I suppose. Friends it is then. Hope I make you a good one. Otherwise I'm gonna look right the fool, aren't I?